What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. What's the word? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Yeah, man. It's your LA Nation General, a.k.a. your boy, Tay Six So, man. Y'all already know how the fuck we bumming. Right, man, you know, you got a lot of shit going on lately. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like you're ready for everything. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, how you feel? You've been celebrating this shit? Like, it look like I've been seeing you doing all type of shit in, in Cali and shit. Yeah, man, you know, I had, uh, once I had dropped, you know, the little appeal paperwork and shit like that, I had, like, you know, it kind of like opened shit up for me on a lot of levels, you know what I'm saying? So it was like a lot of, and you know, it was fucked up because, you know, I knew that this rumor shit was like taking a toll on my career, but I never really knew until I like seen what my career was with with that not attached to my name no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like shit was way more little. A lot of more motherfuckers verified hitting me up and shit. A lot of more people coming through the page. My likes went up like three, four thousand. You know what I'm saying? Twitter busting overly, Facebook, it's just everything lit. Like, I remember, like, this shit was going on for like the first seven days. I was going viral every day for something to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I looked up and they were talking about 350,000 people had visited my profile in seven days. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Nigga, my manager had 5,000. <laughs> on this page, they go, I don't know how shit just watching and seeing what's going on. I'm looking at every big blogger, Vlad TV, Say Cheese, you know, you was reporting on it. Just hella shit, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, damn, this shit era well. But this is how I wanted it to spread, though, because that food shit spread it like that, spread, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was telling motherfuckers, like, man, you know, I hope this shit spread like that shit did. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of, it really hit hard when it hit the street. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you know, I had to go celebrate. We've been doing our thingy thing and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, we bummed. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of crazy, though, because you know, like, like when you what year you started rapping? Twenty thirteen. Yeah, a lot of people who've been rapping since twenty thirteen, like now, they kind of irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Or you know, and it's crazy that you had this shit on your name since then. Well, not since then, but you know, you had this shit on your name for a minute, and you still maintain. Yo, you you know, you stay relevant some type somewhere. Like mm -hmm. you, a lot of people wasn't doing the numbers. You doing shit like that. Mm -hmm. and it was like, what you feel about you made that happen because that's I don't think that's easy a lot of people to stop rapping and disappear or something yeah I think it was just like the talent I ain't even gonna lie a lot of the niggas from back in my day when I first started rapping them niggas was weak as hell anyways like a lot of the ops niggas was garbage you know what I'm saying and it was like they was kind of like catching a little couple of bangs like little Mr. them with no lack and then you had um for that little other little boy name is um P. Rico, when he had, what, hang with me or something, like, they kind of was, you know, able to, like, make little cuts and shit. Motherfuckers was like, oh, woo, woo. But they was always weak as hell. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say them niggas' names because they're going to be clout chasing when they see the interview. Like, ah, oh, then you're going to see them on the internet. Tell my fuck, tell you this. And I'm not dissing you niggas, man. I'm not, I really, y'all just the first niggas to come up to my head when they said, like, you know, niggas that weren't able to, like, withstand that, that, that certain level of clout or views, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was just talent. And then, you know, it, even, you know, a lot of shit what people don't know is even bad publicity is publicity still. Yeah. So it's like motherfuckers steady keeping my name in their mouth, even though it was for negativity, it still had my name circling in some type of way. So, I mean, that was just them two things, really. So, you know, what you been up to since, since uh, the last interview? Shit, man, I had fell back from rap, honestly, and then I had came across the facts, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really dropped shit since I interviewed, but probably what, exposing me, a couple shit I done did with, like, a couple of the guys and shit like that, but I ain't, you know, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm just not finna get back in my mode on this rap shit, you know, but it's finna be lit, though. Shit getting lit, man. I actually just dropped a video called Who Better the other day. But I had dropped it on a weak-ass channel. 
Then I redropped it in the fans, like two different whole other channels stole it, put it on their page and said it was a little dirt this. All type of shit in like and, and and I watered my own release down, you know what I'm saying? So who better out now? It's on Ricky Art's page. You know, go all y'all go check that out. But I'm finna drop some more shit for y'all, me and Ricky. And it's gonna drop and that bitch gonna do a hundred in a day. Facts. Mm hmm So with you uh not really being consistent shit like that, like is there a reason behind that? Like, did you wanna quit rap or something? Yeah, I be in and out of that rap shit. Like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Rap, it be like catching my attention, then it's gone. Vomitos, you know what I'm saying? That shit be out of there. I be like, damn, what the fuck is going on? I don't be giving no fuck. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't get no fuck for real. But then I be having like, damn, this is how I feed my family. You know, this is how I get my designer. This is how, I, you know, do this and do that. So I gotta stay at a certain level and be able to maintain it. You know what I'm saying? To do what I gotta do. Yeah. I had seen you out in Cali for a little minute too. Like, what you had going on when you was out there? Um, I had um did an interview with Power One Hundred Six out there. Did a no jumper interview. Went to me and Stu, me and Polo G. Me went to the Stu, made some new shit. Went to folks to me to one of his shows. You know, me and folks just kicking it. You know what I'm saying? At his crib and shit like that. Um. Just shit, enjoying Cali, enjoying the weather, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's really what our motherfucker was on, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, seeing the effect of all the shit that was going on before I actually left and went out of town, you know, a lot of motherfuckers greeting me and, ah, oh, damn, we knew this and that ain't happening. Woo woo, you know, just, just hella, a lot of motherfuckers was hella, like, you know, proud of the situation and how I came, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All, yeah. It's like, I feel like, with you, like, you got a lot of love in the city, even from people who probably won't admit it. Like, yeah. even people who not on, from your side, all type of shit, like, mm -hmm. they 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 kind of respect you as a person. They might not be friends with you and shit like that. Yeah. But you could tell they respect you as a person. Yeah, and, you know, that come from, like, me. Like, a lot of people, if you really know me and you're going to be an honest nigga, you got to respect me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, on one end, it's like, I ain't no fraudulent-ass nigga, like, any nigga that know this history, they know I'm I'm part of it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not no fugazi nigga. I'm a real humbug, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a real solidified gangster. And then on the other end, it's like a lot of people that don't, I, like ops and all type of motherfuckers respect me because they feel like, they kind of feel like, like since I don't fuck with a lot of niggas that they into it with, that they feel like we on the same end, which we not, you know what I'm saying? It's never like, a, oh yeah, I'm with the ops. No, never going to be that. But you know, they just see like, ah, right, woo woo. And a lot of the ops, I ain't even gonna last more ops that know I ain't tell than them niggas, folks. I mean, when the shit was like popular and it first came out and they thought I was like really still affiliated with a lot of shit, they was jacking that shit, ah, using it as songs, taste is under snitching and blah, blah. then niggas get to slowly but slowly see it, and then I'm making a mockery out of my own people. So they like, ah, damn, dang, snitch, they start. Like, P1 us. Yeah, like, yeah, they trying to make me one of them, which I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm always gonna be what I am. And what I ain't, I'll never be. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of that, so. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit, you know, a lot of niggas respect me, fool. And that's why I tell a motherfucker not to get caught up in all this internet shit, because motherfuckers see me, us, me and my people, or, you know, in a, in a circle, we humbugging so much. Niggas be like, ah, the whole city against that nigga. That shit is minuscule. That's a couple motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Multiple altercations, you know what I'm saying? But that shit is not like I maneuver through the city just fine. And every time I do get caught in public by anybody, it's never no, oh yeah, you sue be there with me all the time. It be straight fan shit going on. Like all the every time I get noticed or anywhere, they be on some, yeah, boy. And, you know, straight, you know, kicking it ass fan shit. Or just real nigga shit, the real recognized, real. They be on some kicking and shit. I don't really think I met a nigga in public in my own city that was like was on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They don't never be because like I'm saying, this is my city. Everybody know me from the old me. So they know like, even if they wanted a nigga that probably did believe I snitch, probably did see me in public, but he probably ain't wanna die behind that shit, so he ain't say nothing. <laughs> he, he, he was like, nah, man, you know what? I'm going to just keep that shit to myself. He probably stayed in the car. But then I go that nigga tape. 
His ass a rat, but he ain't never said to me though. He probably was thinking it, but he ain't never said to me because he know he probably didn't want to risk it. Like, sure, he probably got that bitch on him. Yeah. I don't want to die trying to dick ride. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to say shit. But the niggas who do, they be cool. So all this time, like, what you been moving through the city, like, it wasn't really never no situation where somebody, like, slightly tried to do that shit in front of you? Man, shit. And I'm I'm sitting right here, I'm thinking as hard as I can, because I don't want nobody, if a nigga ever did try I don't want them to see this interview and be, like, telling him, his ass, boy, I seen him. And... So I'm going to take, like, a 10-second pause. Because I'm really 100% sure that it never happened, but I'm going to just <laughs> think anyway, just because. Like so. Yeah. This nigga really said that count. <laughs> Yeah, because I want to be, you know, I try to be truthful as I can. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> niggas ain't never been on shit, on D thing, on Lubu. Fuck it, I'm on my bullshit. I ain't on LA, ain't a nigga ain't never did none of that shit, bro. But never, you know what I'm saying? Not, it's never even, oh, not even in the slightest. I seen a couple of niggas from the hood. I just ran it. One of the guys from the block just called me lacking out of, like not too long ago. Like yeah. I was lacking because I was friend my mood doing shit. I should have been doing four four right up on me. One of the guys from the oh oh four woo woo flag me down. I ain't seen him while all this shit been going on. Yeah. He flagged me down. Ah oh, four woo. Walk up to the car, we kicking it, shake up, all that shit. You know, I ran into one of the guys. Couple, yeah, I ran into one of the guys at the liquor store on eighty seven. One of the niggas they used to be doing the most talking too. I don't like the like the you know in between side shit getting back to me. See him. It was his birthday too. He thought he was flea. <laughs> he thought he was flea. I'm outside of the Vino. One of the Sprite fell out the car. You know what I'm saying I'm chasing the Sprite. The whole time I see him coming out, he see me. He seen that motherfucker forty millennium hanging out my motherfucker left pocket too. And he was like he walked up, shook up. And two other guys that was with him, they walked up behind him, shook up. We all, little oh, strange words. I slid off on. You know what I'm saying? And a couple more altercations and shit. But it was always, ah, oh, you know, yeah. shake up. You know, shit like that. And not to even saying, like, the folks that just caught me lacking, doing the shit I shouldn't do, it was never no words between me and him. But it's like, you know, you catch some niggas from that end, you don't know who believe what or who with what. So yeah. it's like, I see folks, you know, and he greeted me like it's like he ain't with that shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. So how you feel about the uh paperwork coming out clearing your name? Um, you know me, like it's being me. I already knew that. Like I always played this shit, like I knew eventually, like it was gonna come out, it was gonna have to because I never told. I knew, like, I'm I know a lot of niggas, like, they not me. So they not gonna be like, huh. They ain't gonna be like, you know, they don't probably know what to think. Well, I don't get no fuck, but like me knowing me, like I was the nigga in the investigation room. I know I ain't tell them shit. So I know eventually it's like, this shit gotta come out sooner or later. Like, man, bro, what the fuck? It's never gonna be a statement of me telling. So if y'all saying who got it or who might have it or whatever, they whoever holding it for this reason, that shit is a lie. That's why every time I used to hear niggas say, ah, oh, we ain't bringing it out for this reason, or we ain't, we can't do it to this. I'm like, bro, drop that shit, man. We didn't discuss this. Like, I always, any nigga that ever acted like they had anything on me, I always never hesitated to say, put that shit out. I always said, put that shit out, put that shit out, put that shit out. I'm pulling niggas' car. I think I'm pulling that shit out. Post it right now. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can never do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm knowing they can't because I know what I didn't do. So it's like, niggas can never do that. Like, niggas can never be like, ah, woo, woo, nigga, woo, woo, you know? So when I, when the shit finally came out, and then you know, it's the pill paperwork. So people try to like, make it be different from the discovery and- Yeah, I was gonna ask that too. Yeah, you know, like people want to make it be different. So fucking bad. Like, bro, look, the pill paperwork is everything that was put against these people. Like, this is what's typed in here, like, bro, Anybody or any piece of evidence that got these people convicted is going to be in a appeal paperwork because they got to put it in here so the judge that's reading it, the appeal court judges, can know what was all 
use to convict the person that they got to consider if they got grounds for appeal or not. So why niggas be talking about, oh yeah, it's the appeal paperwork. It ain't this, it ain't that. Nigga, if I was in the discovery, nigga, I would have to be in here because that means that I would I I played a part in getting somebody convicted. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that shit is it's like it's not really a difference. It's not like they everything that was used against them niggas in court was in his paperwork. As as far as what was used to convict him. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker they said I told on. So it's like for the people that be trying to make shit like it's so distinctive, like, ah, oh, this ain't really that and this ain't really this. Bro, that shit is all everything that was used against them is in the appellate paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like when you, everything that's said in the trial, that shit gonna be in your trial transcript. That's why I ain't in their trial transcripts either. Why motherfuckers be talking about, yeah, you made a statement, but you never took the stand. There's no way to do that. There's no way. Only look, only way you could make a statement and not have to take a stand, you either have to not be incarcerated, or, I mean, yeah, not have to be, you had to be not incarcerated already. Meaning like you in the world, they looking for you and run. they can't find you. You know what I'm saying? Or you did, you know what I'm saying? Or you can either like really deny it and then you could get a charge. It's like a charge for not like doing it, I think. You know what I'm saying? But um, there's no like physical way in, in my situation where I could have been like, you know what, I don't want to get up there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it. Like I was already locked up for a pipe. People made it seem like I was such a big part of the case and they was looking for me to decide the fact of the case, but the whole time, when the, when the case went to trial, they never even, I was never a part of it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that shit was all like, and then there's another thing where people don't understand, where they keep talking about, I pled the fifth, that's why I didn't have to get on the stand. None of that shit makes sense. Pleading the fifth is me saying, whatever you try to ask me, or you, whatever I admit to, you cannot come back and use against me later. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember my circumstances in this whole case. They are trying to insinuate that I was there. I made a call that made motherfuckers come down there. All type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing I'm ever admitting to them was like, I was at a party. Because I can't be, it never happened at the party. The shit that happened never took place at the party. It never took place at the same time as the party. And the people who y'all trying to say did whatever the fuck happened, I was, I never came to the party with them or I never left with them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm mean, meant to be in at the party, but you know, the state's attorney there try to put you on the stand just because you admitted that and try to cross examine you. So yeah, so when you was in the party, did you see and, you know, and I'm finna, I'm not finna be, hold on, y'all not finna get me that. Ask me nothing and then think y'all gonna double back and try to get me in. I'm looking at it, went from being on the stand to being in the motherfucking same desk. I'm looking at it now to see they like at trial, like, damn, they just smacked me on top of my <laughs> shit, nigga, on stage. That's why it's best not to say nothing. At that all. is exactly, like, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's the best thing, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't never wrong for admitting that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I know, I knew what I knew. I knew that can they you can't harm me or you can't put no charges on me for being in a party, these parties, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't wanna and I don't wanna seem like I was trying like, to the police, like I was just like, you know, like, bro, okay, what the fuck y'all talking about a party? Yeah, I was there. What about it? You know what I'm saying? What's up? Yeah. What's, what you gonna do about that? Nothing. They can't do nothing. So okay. that was it. I learned that talking to a lawyer, like, mm -hmm. cause I, you know, when they say don't talk, mm -hmm. in my head, I'm thinking, all right, don't say nothing to incriminate you or somebody else. Mm -hmm. But when they say don't talk, they literally mean don't talk, because you could say something that's not wrong at all, mm -hmm. but it'll limit your lawyer to what, what, what they could do for you, type mm -hmm. shit. Like, yeah. you could be like, no, nah, I ain't had no gun. Mm -hmm. Now you got to stick to that, when you probably could have just took a gun charge and ain't take no murder charge, so you know? Mm -hmm. so, it's better not to say shit at all. Yeah, it really is. You know what I'm saying? Because that's probably one of the reasons why they probably felt like they could even cross-examine me at any point because they knew I admitted to being at the party. So they probably yeah. thought they was going to put me up there if that's what they thought they would have did. You know how they put me up there and be like, yeah, you was on the party. And <laughs> now y'all trying to make me be from the party to being on the scene of some shit that happened long after. Yeah. So it is best to not say nothing. But, you know, I was I was good regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you never incriminate nobody into anything, so you can never rat. 
If anything, I told on my damn self I'm in to, to be in at a party. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, see, that was a wrong. If that was a wrong, it was a wrong to myself. It wasn't no wrong to no other nigga. You know what I'm saying? So since the uh, paperwork came out, like, has anybody apologized to you that was ever bashing your name? A lot of fans have. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of fans have. A couple um. Niggas I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? But I guess they was admitting that, oh man, I've been thinking you was telling all these years, man. And yeah. I've been knowing it ain't them and woo woo, but then that shit crazy, man. I'm bogus, man, in my bad. I should have never went with that shit, you know? But none of the niggas that's supposed to be apologizing are gonna apologize, you know what I'm saying? I've spoken to the niggas in the hood who never spoke on the situation, and now that they seen the appeal paperwork, they actually furious with a lot of the guys that did speak on the situation because the niggas that's from the hood that really got it from the hood that really still be on the block because a lot of niggas feel like the niggas that they know about is the niggas that got say so or be in the hood for real. But these niggas don't. You know what I'm saying? And they don't got no fucking word over there either. But um, me talking to, you know, niggas like um, Dutch and them and shit, niggas still holding this shit down, holding the foot down for the six. You know what I'm saying? And, they just was like, man, you know, after knowing what they saw and seeing what they saw, because I was in my feelings about that shit too after I read the paperwork, bro, because it's like, being me, like, you know, like I never try to sell my, oversell myself for who I am or what I've done, but like, that's just the reality of my whole life. Like, I put everything into my hood, like everything, blood, sweat, and tears, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, to know everything that I sacrificed for my block. And to know that niggas still let that shit happen to me, bro, I was betrayed. Like That shit was like, that shit made me angry as hell. Then it made me sad because like, damn, bro, I'm a lusty. Like I gave everything to this hood and y'all put a snitch jacket on me and y'all let that shit go. Like, and let that shit get around the city and y'all let it divide our hood and y'all did it for niggas that's not from our hood. And y'all just like didn't appreciate me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of all that, y'all started movements to sneak this me, all that snitch case shit. That shit was started to sneak this me. And it came from, it started from niggas from my hood, the niggas that I'm related to. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a whole bunch of betrayal in the midst of all that shit. It's like hurt, sadness, hatred, all type of shit in one. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the guys that's like never commented on it after they read the shit, they like, damn, bro, like, that's why we never commented on it, some of us, because it's like, you was one of ours, and we don't want other niggas to be sabotaging you. Like, if you did that shit, we gonna get you out the way, or we, you gonna separate yourself, but we not gonna expose you to all this, giving other niggas ammunition to talk about our hood. And a lot of niggas don't realize that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's a red in your circle, man, that shit bleed on everybody. It's best to try to get them, get them out as quick and, and, and low key as possible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Then it's like, you know, with me being me, I'm famous. So it's like when I'm faced with these allegations, I can't run from them. You know what I'm saying? I can't go to Wisconsin or Ohio or Detroit or nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers going, boy, ain't you take 600? Damn, you supposed to tell them, woo woo. Like, I can go to fucking London, they going to find me eventually. <laughs> Somebody, some little, some, I just did a fucking interview the other day. Fendo was with that with me. With a motherfucker, a UK blogger. He um he wrote for GQ and shit like that. And he knows me. You know what I'm saying? These niggas know me. And all these uh people knew me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't go, I can't run from this shit. I had to face this shit for five years. Like I had to stand up ten toes and and fight this shit for that long. Like niggas, a lot of niggas couldn't have deal what I did this long. Like these niggas would have either been folded, gave up committed suicide or just beat they self down about this shit. You know me, I was just like, man, I rode with the punches because I knew eventually like I was going to be, they was going to, I was going to be exonerated from this shit. You know what I'm saying? I knew eventually it was going to be like, man, damn, sure he came out on top of that shit. So I always stayed fighting. I fought that shit till I couldn't fight no more. And it came like that. So some people still don't believe it, even with the paperwork out. Like, what do you uh, got to say about that? That's some bitch ass shit. 
Because I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Niggas wanna give up. I just told a motherfucker this the other day. Niggas is just finding any reason to believe that, to not believe that I didn't snitch. I mean, to not, yeah, to not believe that I didn't snitch or to not believe that other motherfuckers did snitch or did some dry snitching or said, did some, any little police ass shit at all. Like, and that shit blows me because for five years, you niggas been making fake paperwork, pulling all type of stops, got niggas calling from jail line and interviews and all type of shit for motherfuckers to believe I snitched and the whole world them that roll with y'all. Like, you niggas never presented no facts. Like, we, if we being honest, like, you niggas ain't never dropped nothing real. I'm the first motherfucker to drop something real in, 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 in depth, you know what I'm saying? Like, me. You know what I'm saying? I was the first nigga to drop some real shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the whole world rolled you niggas and y'all never even provided no real proof of nothing you niggas was saying. So now I provide proof and I still only got 75% of the world riding with me. You know what I'm saying? No, y'all supposed to roll the wave as strong as y'all roll the wave that I was snitching. Because on top of me, I, I got proof. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these niggas don't, but y'all ran with that shit. Y'all ran with that shit for years and years and years. Don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. Every year or every, it got smaller and smaller of the people who, who did believe that shit because after a certain time, it's just like, bro, you don't got it. But when I dropped what I dropped, and niggas like, it's motherfuckers still want to have excuses and all that goof ass shit, man, that shit blows me because... You niggas ain't had these excuses when they was saying that shit. You, know what I'm saying? you niggas was riding that shit, saying that shit. They ain't had no proof. Y'all still said it. I give out proof. Y'all went, damn, man, motherfucker. We got to reread that shit up. The fuck, nigga? It's going to say the same shit it said the first three times you wrote it. Weird shit, man. So uh, how you feel about the uh, interview I did with Boss Talk when I asked him about you? I never saw it. I need to see it before I can even answer a question. I, I, I just need to see it because every time I get on live or I, when, you, when you first drop the shit, I'm getting on there. They tell me, oh, top said this, top said that. Well, I'm finna pull up for you right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They, they tell me what, 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 nigga, what nigga said and shit, and I'm just like, I don't know. I got, I got another question that motherfucker asking about. I might pass it. What the, what the, uh, with the appeal paperwork coming out with uh, C. D. Rondo and Tay and them shit, like the paperwork kind of looked like he wasn't telling. So it was like, what's your uh, opinion on that? Like, how you how you feel about that shit? I'm gonna tell you like this, and it's just these facts, gang. A motherfucker got a testimony, like a motherfucker, a motherfucker can make a statement, gang, in the station, mm -hmm. and. And and they, 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 So you, you feel like you feel like it was some shit that was said in the station or something like that? I don't know. Me? Shit. I, I know how this shit go. I just hear the motherfucker get down on me, gang. You know what I'm saying? You can wave the stand. You can wave getting on the stand. The motherfucker call you out there for the get on the stand. You can wave that shit. You ain't got to. What they go do? Beat your ass. Drag you out there. You ain't got to get on the stand. You know what I'm saying? But if you told, you told. That ain't not true. They, if, if, if a motherfucker never said anything, a motherfucker name wouldn't be there. I'm gonna put it like that. Wouldn't be no testimony, wouldn't be no subpoena, wouldn't be no witness. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the shit, the shit be so, like, I feel like he's going like, around the it. Motherfuckers on, on his side basically sound like the reason 
his name was as a witness is because they put him on the scene of the crime with the females. So like, which means, which means, if, if they if they push you on the crime, I'm gonna just put it like this, gang. I ain't finna talk about the motherfucking case though. But, but if they put you, if, if a motherfucker put you on anything, then people come to holler at you. Mm-hmm. A motherfucker, whatever a motherfucker do with that ball, that's on them, gang. I'm on full them. Motherfucker do that ball. If you drop the ball, you drop the ball. So at this point, is it like my phone really like unsure or y'all or you basically sound like it's for sure that like he, he said something? Cause it's like a lot of people got mixed feelings about this shit. Hey, come here, hey, hey, check it out. Check it out one time, six. Check it out. Oh, these birds. Come on, y'all, go over there. Check it out, bro. These birds flying low. Since the mic on you, people have to get close to you, kinda of speak up type shit. Stay right here with me. He got a question he just asked me, right? We asked me a question. No, I was asking about like with Tay and shit, like you know how the paperwork, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the with the appeal, you know with the. This fucking K. This, 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 this. That's it. We gonna leave it at that. We gonna leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, leave it at that. Next question. <laughs> Is that this the end of it? Or you gonna so, come you know, back uh, to this motion? Yo, yo, jail yeah. time and shit yeah. like that. Okay. Now, could you ask what what you say it again? So I was just asking like how you feel about his response when I uh asked that because it's like uh you know what I'm a, I'm a, um I'm gonna pull some shit up in my phone. I think I got it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I had got this um before matter before I even speak on that shit when he came home, right? You know, top was one of them niggas like, you know, that I seen multiple times in the county. You know, we was all locked up in the county. Me, Nan, C D Rose, Top, Boss Money Nim, uh it was just a lot of us in the county. A lot of the ops. It was a lot of us in the county. You know what I'm saying? And I've seen Top on multiple occasions. You know what I'm saying? And when me and I'm talking about me and Top now, we just not brushing against each other in the county. Nigga, we going to court. We in the same bullpens for hours or long, long extended periods of time. And it could have went whatever way Top felt. If Top ever felt like I was telling in jail, he would have reacted. We would have been getting it busting. Well, he felt like it was anything that was going on. It would have been getting, he would have been getting it busting. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, when I was seeing Top of jail, he was always like, let me know, like, man, you know, motherfucker don't, ain't rocking with this and ain't rocking with that. Matter of fact, and it's crazy because now that I'm thinking about it, you, we went to the studio with Top. I took you with me, right? Yeah. Uh, we, you picked me up in O Block. Yeah. Remember you, remember me, you Top, Blast, all of us. We went to the studio. Got this was after the fact of the yeah. snitching rumors. You know what I'm saying? This like what 2015 yeah. or or late 2014, some some within that area. This somewhere in that area. You know what I'm saying? Before we all caught our cases, it was right around the time we did that song with uh, Young Thug. So whenever. Yeah, yeah, when he was in the studio trying to do it, you know what I'm saying? And that just lets you know, like, you know what I'm saying? This was this was like pre-dirt type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, before niggas start want to be OTF or start trying to associate themselves with OTF or Dirk in general, this was pre-all that shit, you know what I'm saying? The jail shit was pre-that shit. When he first came home was pre-that shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was like... Then slowly, like when he first came home, he was he got on the internet and said, I don't think they snitch. That was the thing he said on live. It's right here. That's what I was pulling up. Yeah. What should I tell? I don't think he's snitch. Yeah. 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 That's what he said. I don't think he snitched. Then you know what's so crazy? Right after this video, we followed each other on the ground. Yeah. Right after that, we DMing each other. He bro, what's the word? Sending me heart emojis and shit. Like, you know what's the word, gang? And, Woo woo who going crazy on the beats. I tell him like, man, I'm finna, I'm gonna have my producer send you some beats. Have my producer send him some beats, talk to his big brother Low. You know what I'm saying? I mean Chip, my bad. Talk to Chip. And you know, just was like, then as soon as it's like he wanted to do all that little, he started wanting to associate himself with all that little OTF shit. I look up, niggas ain't even following me on Instagram no more. I had to unfollow top. You know what I'm saying? Cause he unfollowed me. Like weird yeah. shit like that, like these niggas, and, and it, it make me look at the gas, fool. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, 
bro, I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you, you when we when it was just us, it was none of this. You trying to associate yourself with some other shit. So be, be, to do that fully, you got to unattach yourself from me. You know what I'm saying? But these niggas be quick to, uh, to unattach themselves from me. Like, I'm not the nigga that was out there with you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, top users tell me, like, man, yeah. You know shorty I fuck with from over there? Lil Tay, he be on that. Ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Top them used to be the same niggas telling me don't bring a lot of the niggas from my hood that he be having around him now. He used to tell me not to bring them niggas to the block. Like, I ain't gonna lie, O Block then used to like a lot of the guys from the 600 at, at first. And it used to be always niggas like me, M thing, LA, a couple of other mo guys. They, they, these niggas was just used to just hate, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, nigga, I remember getting a tour with 600, nigga, and I called O Block, nigga. All four of them came over there tweaking. Big A, J Money, Sean, nigga. Uh, Vaughn, nigga, all the fuck them, you know what I'm saying? Like, bugged up, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, me knowing all that shit and seeing this, like, I, the shit I just saw, did you just show me that top said that shit? It's like you weird going around the question, then, like, you insinuating certain shit, but it's like, you can't really say what you, what you want to say, you know what I'm saying? But whatever you, it's kind of like you leaning towards the way, like, you want to say, I told, but you have plenty of chances of opportunity to tell me that before you start associating yourself with this, these mm -hmm. niggas, these certain niggas that I feel like change, got you or making you change whatever you really felt. Like I said, we was booked together. You never moved on that shit. Never even, you told me literally you don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? When I seen you multiple times in the county. Nigga, you come home, we chopping it up. You get on live saying you don't believe it. Then you jump Wanna, you want to be OTF or you want to associate yourself with that shit, now niggas want to act like they maneuvering towards the way and want to be saying little shit like, if it was nothing said, then it wouldn't be none of this. Bro, look, I don't, I don't really, I want to, huh? Look at my shirt. Oh, damn. So was it getting there, then? Yeah, yeah, so it's like, I don't want to say like, I know exactly why everything happened, but if you go through it, it's not really hard to dissect, like, why would they think I would? They would want to subpoena me to court, or it's just like, bro, when you when you got bitches that's telling, mind you, the bitches that why everybody all this snitch case shit, I will never be in paperwork, all that shit. Y'all hang around the bitches that told on Rondo and C Day. Y'all accept them. They live in O Block. They got apartments in there. They 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 kick it with y'all at the functions, all the mansion parties y'all was throwing last year. Them hoes was there. Um, them hoes. Don't hide, don't run. They had all the guys' functions and funerals. And it's just like, this whole snitch case shit was dedicated to that case. But y'all running around with two of the three females that got them convicted. Oh, and gave them 40, got them 40 years. You know what I'm saying? And y'all try to hold all that shit against me. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, that shit, that, that, that shit, that's why I wanted to see it before I even spoke on it. Because I, I, like I know what I be hearing. What people try to say, niggas say, but I don't be want to like they'll speak. Yeah, they will send me out the fans, love the humbug between the guys, especially. So it's like I'm looking at top, like blow, blow always been a goofy. So it's like none of these, none of this shit, these goofy niggas doing is shocking me. Like it didn't hurt me to argue with blow, Mimo, none of them. Them niggas been hoes all our life. You know what I'm saying, bitches, goofies. You know what I'm saying, even Booker, he ain't even been a goofy, but he was just always one of them niggas that just. I wanted shit his way and felt like he was like the the I had the last word and wanted a motherfucker to be scatter him type shit and he be doing female shit, getting mad, be hating sometimes, shit like that. So it's like I wasn't surprised either with him and he not even a bitch. He just do bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? So when this was shit coming hitting the fan, I wasn't surprised. But Top was like one of the motherfuckers like it's like on the street level, I could say at least. He was like a stand-up dude. Like he always maneuvered the right way as far as street shit goes. You know what I'm saying? So me to for me to see, and, and I ain't gonna lie for like top, like, you know, like me and top, we had we was close, you know what I'm saying? Like this one no. Like, bro, O Block to me, it is like it's it's like 600. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was one of them niggas, like I was really O Block. Like when I walked up in a wig, I'm shaking up O Block, you know what I'm saying? I'm shaking up O Block. The phone number was shaking up BD with the guys. I was shaking up O Block with all the guys. I'm shaking up O Block. I knew O Block handshake better than I knew 600 shit. Yeah. Phone them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, them niggas, that shit hurt coming from them niggas too. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas know they watched me grow up top them like 
five, probably four, five, whatever many years older than me for. So it's like them big brothers to me. You know what I'm saying? They watching me grow, they watching me getting this shit, watching me doing my thing. So it's like, that shit hurt from them too. You know what I'm saying? And top being one of the motherfuckers who I know supposed to be official and who I remember from back in the day for being official. It's like, seeing this shit with him, seeing how he acting with, as far as this situation, it kind of throw me off and it hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Because he's supposed to be one of them niggas. Like, he been getting into cases and going to trials and dealing with shit way longer than I have. So he know, you know what I'm saying? And he know me too, you know what I'm saying? He know me. So it's like, for him to see that shit and it's like he kind of ducking it and don't want to say what he really trying to say. Like, bro, look, if you believe I say, I told or I said anything, say that. Like, when I first got the cop, when I first dropped the appeal paperwork, Gotti called me, right? And Gotti was like, ooh, man, I just read this shit, this shit crazy. I just called Top and asked Top, did he see this shit? And Top to my, man, I, I got to read that shit over. Some she say he said, right? And I'm just like, the fuck is niggas think they going to find in this shit? Like, niggas, it sound like niggas want to find me snitching in here. Like, niggas don't want to recant none that they got going on against me. That's why a lot of niggas ain't apologize. Because, bro, to do this shit over a five-year span and then get caught up lying, niggas will never be credible. They got to hold down that lie. That's why I don't even get mad at this shit no more. I don't sit up and scratch my head about why niggas ain't apologize. Because I know why. You niggas that made a fool out of y'all damn self over the last five years has been changed. So to come out and say, damn, we was wrong. The whole world, you and niggas will never live it down. The world won't let y'all because y'all crucified me for all them years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they ain't going to never be able to get over that shit. You know what I'm saying? So they just like, fuck it. We going to keep saying it. We going to keep saying it. We ain't going to shit. And then, you know, they dealing with people who got clout and connections so they can keep the shit afloat as, really as long as they want. It ain't going to stick like it used to, but it's still some shit that can be conversed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if a rapper ever called you like a snitch or a, that you, or a rapper that you had a relationship with that just stopped fucking with you because of allegations, if they come around now and try to like apologize, would you accept it? Bro, I'm dropping heat. Right. Nigga, hack my YouTube. They ain't, you feel me? I had a lot of shit just finna hit a million views. They just took all my shit down. I'm starting fresh. He got over 30 pounds on the internet without his main thing. My boy, 45 King Sumo, he finna go crazy. Yeah, gonna take out that repo, man. See? Shout out my boy, PC2 Crumb, man. He got that yeah. Syracuse. We got a fraction of 45, 45 on Syracuse, too. On bro, 45, 45 NY. That's New York. Yeah, shout out Polo Grounds, too, that my boy, 600 yeah, G's. Yeah, all, you know, all that. Shout out 600 Cartier Breeze, old Swahal. We got niggas all, uh, real niggas all across the world with the movement, bro. This is just the faces of this shit.